Um, okay, so the first section of this is the detention of Palestinians in Israeli prisons. Um, as of the 1st of June 2009, there are approximately 8,100 Palestinian political prisoners in Israel, um, in Israeli prisons. Um, over the past 43 years of occupation, there have been approximately 700,000 Palestinians in Israeli prisons. Um, so this part of the report gives a lot of context um, about the prison situation, which as has been said before, can't be extrapolated from um, the situation in Gaza. So, um, kind of going back to what was said earlier, there are contraventions of, of international law all over the place. Um, Palestinian prisoners aren't allowed phone calls, they aren't um, allowed visits from their family. There are incidences where Palestinian prisoners have been kept in solitary confinement from anything from five months up to 23 years. Um, what was particularly striking about this um, section was the vast discrepancy between um, the legal system that the Israelis applied to Palestinians and that they applied to their own citizens. Um, the PA, Palestinian Authority, is not allowed to um, arrest any Israeli civilian, but Israel has full control over all the Palestinian civilians and can arrest who they like. Um, so during uh, Operation Cast Led, there was a particular increase in the number of children who were taken um, prisoner by Israel. Um, they give you know, various facts and figures, but um, up to at least 100 month on month from 2008 to 2009. Um, there are also kind of details from, from, from colonels in the IDF who describe the beatings and the abuse that were given to children um, under Israeli um, military control, which is horrific. I'm not going to go into it. It's just too disgusting. Um, yeah, so that kind of covers that bit. Um, there's mention of, of Gilad Shalit and, and the prisoner exchange, and that's particularly relevant um, because the negotiations that are going on at the moment where one Israeli military prisoner equates something like 800 Palestinians. Um, yeah, also members of Palestinian political parties um, detained at particular points which disallowed them from campaigning. Um, these parties particularly changed the form which is recognized as a legitimate Palestinian political party. Um, scores of, of their politicians were taken um, prisoner so that they didn't have, have the chance to um, win seats in, in government. Um, that kind of, yeah, there's, there's lots in that. I mean, the main focus is on the, the disturbance that the people who collected the report had regarding the detention of children. And they list all these things which are clearly crimes against humanity. And then their conclusions say it may be contrary to the Declaration of Human Rights to detain children from the age of seven. So I don't know why that's a possibility, not a certainty. Um, the second section is about Israeli violations of the right to free movement and access for the Palestinians, um, in which obviously we know that checkpoints the wall, um, the general blockading siege disallowed Palestinians from free movement, particularly um, between the West Bank and Gaza, which is virtually impossible. During um, the operation in Gaza, there was a six-day complete closure of the West Bank, which no one seems to have heard about, um, which meant that uh, the Palestinians living in the West Bank couldn't go to work. They couldn't, if they weren't at home, they couldn't go back home. Um, flying checkpoints appeared all over the place, which are, are checkpoints that could, could last for a couple of hours to the whole um, duration of the operation in Gaza. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. Yeah.